octa is 8, tetra is 4, because it has four sides. Okay? Um, earth is hex, so it's just a square. Hex. Dodeca means 12. This is 12, guys. Remember the, do the shape of the dodecahedron? Everything comes from the 12. And as Hermes says, says that the universe is a mind. It's God's mind. The universe is mental, one of the seven hermetic principles. The universe is mental, and it's in 12. It has 12 latent energies, and then it gives itself through, through to, the, to the seven active energies, the seven dynamos, electromagnetic dynamos of our solar system, which are causing us to manifest. The energies are there. Okay? And that's what Plato says, that our souls come from the 12, the Milky Way galaxy, the 12, down a seven-rung ladder, Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, Mars, uh, so, sorry, S this is the order, take note, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the sun in the middle. And Ptolemy gave us this order, he was one of the astrologers that gave us, it's not the natural physical order of the solar system, it's the hierarchical order. Saturn is at the top, why? Because he takes 30 years to go around the sun. He's at the top. This guy, two, two, uh, 12 years, so he's next. This guy, two years, just slightly under two years, Mars, he's next. Then the sun, because we interchange the earth with the sun and we put the sun in the middle, in the middle, the heart. I'll show you later. That's the heart, Leo, and the sun rules here. It's right here in your body. Okay, we're going we're to study that fractal. We're going to study, this is the biology. Um, <clears throat> then you get, uh, Venus is next, 225 days, 88 days, and then the moon is 28 days. So she's at the bottom. Okay? The seven days of the week, the seven everything. These are the seven Elohim in the first book of Genesis. Let us make man in our image. They make man in their image. Because this is the image of the seven. It's in you, it's your soul. And each planet is responsible for holding one of those together, centripetally. And it's your chakras. And when you know this science, you can raise your energy above the three bottom levels, which have to do with sex, power, and survival. I've mixed that order up because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, you know this, I'm sure most of you know this. If not, you can study it and find out which, is, which order that is. That is love. That's the doorway to get to the kingdom of heaven, which is up here, where the pituitary gland is and the pineal gland is. And this is where all the kingdom stuff happens. This is where all the hell stuff happens. It's red, because hell is red. Hell is red. Now, how do I know that that's hell? This is summer. This is winter. How do you say winter? In Latin, inverno, invernal, or, well, no, that's not a word. In Spanish it is, <laughs> inferno. In, anyway, that's winter. What's hell? Anyone know? Inferno. This is inferno, this is inferno, this is hell, because when the sun comes down here, he meets with Saturn. On the 21st of December, Saturn rules Capricorn, Saturn rules Aquarius, he's cold. It's very cold. He's right at the extremity of the solar system. He's very magnetic. He causes about 50% of all the illnesses on the planet. He's the grim reaper. He's the harvester of the souls because he is Kronos. Remember the KR I told you about before, Christ? Well, he's Kronos, isn't he? Saturn in Greek is Kronos. KR. Remember that, that cross I showed you before? It's also Kronos. What I'm going to show you is that the rivalry that has always existed between the hero and his oppressor, Jesus and Satan, Horus and Set, you know, that, you know all the heroes, they've all got their enemy, right? Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. It's good to go over these because then you, you, you can remember where they are. This is nature. It's pure nature. It's pure science. And that's where astrology comes from. You're going to see this. I'll show you. Spring, Arians. I'm Arian. My birthday's tomorrow. Right? So I'm born right after this, the start of the year, the start of the day. This is six o'clock, remember? Remember, the day is here, day, night, summer, winter. Summer is day, and winter is night, isn't it? 
Winter is just not as much light, therefore it's colder. They're the same thing. There's two pulses every day, 6 o'clock, morning. And, and by the way, Aries rules every day from 6 to 8 o'clock. Every morning we wake up with an electric pulse we, and, we, and we go to the masculine left brain and we operate out of there for two hours. Hand didn't know this stuff. Taurus, your naturopaths know it. Feminine, Venus rules here. It's magnetic. We go to the right brain and we get softer and we do these materialistic things like eating because Taurus represents the mouth. Aries is the head, Taurus is the mouth. Here's the twins, Gemini, Cancer, Leo the heart, Virgo the belly, Libra, the justice, kidneys. Scorpio is the generative organs, Sagittarius is the thighs, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces at the feet. We have a positive top and a negative bottom. See that sine wave? This is from Pappus, the French occultist of the 17th century. I think he was involved in the transcendental movement with guys like Rolf Waldo Emerson and all those geniuses. But he was certainly a genius and I got this out of his book. See that sine wave? Aries is pointing to the head. Taurus. Now you can examine many of these. I've brought a few along. Isn't that beautiful? This is science. Aries is always on the head. See the, la the lamb? There's the bull. Right on the neck. There's the cancer, the crab. The moon and the sun just below. In British heraldry, you have the lion and the unicorn. That's the lion and the unicorn because the unicorn is also the sign for, for cancer. Opposite cancer is Capricorn. Unicorn, Capricorn. These are the two corns, the two horns of abundance. This horn is a gateway. It opens to the sun going down and dying and then being reborn again on the 25th of December, Christmas Day, and climbs up again, gets baptised in January. That's January. That's jo January the Baptist. The sun gets baptised in January. It's the wet month. And, it gets, and the sun gets baptised at 30 degrees. Dum, 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 climbs up, bang. Aquarius, the water bearer. January. It's the wet month. The sun's getting a baptising. What does February mean? Pisces. February. Februa is the goddess of purification. It means you're purifying yourself. So here you've got a baptism and a purification. The sun is purifying itself and it exalts here in the sign of the Lamb. The Jews are all going to celebrate, the next full moon, they're going to ce celebrate the Passover and they're going to eat the Passover Lamb. And we're going to celebrate Easter as Christians. Easter. Why? Because the sun is in the east. It's perfectly in the east. So, East Star, the star is in the east. And therefore, I've diverted a bit. I'll come back to all of this. I've jumped, I've jumped. What I was going to explain to you is how this, the sun, agriculturally, you can see why the signs are there. You can see clearly why the signs are there. The lamb reminds you of the blossom. Taurus tells you, go out and plough, because you won't be able to gather in September in under the harvest the virgin who holds the sheath of bread because all the, the virgins go out to collect the harvest. This is the harvest month. The twins, Leo, summer. This is midsummer. This is July, August. The dog days. As the sun goes through Leo and the dog days, this is very, 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 very hot. And the lion represents the, the, the sun and its glory in its throne, in its enthronement. But then, as it goes through Virgo and they collect the harvest and all of a sudden the leaves begin to turn red, the sun is going through the Red Sea and everybody's freezing. And if they did not do this work, they would not eat here and they would die. Imagine yourselves in Scandinavia, for instance. If you ain't got a, a big chimney and you ain't got food and you've got logs of wood piled up and, and, and wine and oil and everything to... Man, you could just, you die. Sometimes you're there for three months, four months. If you haven't got anything, you will die. That's why evil is here. Evil is not, it's not, well, there's, you know, there's people practice evil. They choose to. But it's, this, is, this is where good and evil, it's just natural. It's just this, it's nature. And Jesus, the son 
rules the summer kingdom of heaven and Saturn rules the kingdom of hell, inverno, inferno, winter, because he's cold. Mr. Hot, Mr. Cold. Libra, when the sun goes through those scales on the 21st of, of September, it gets judged. And you're going to see later, this is the period here in Scorpio when all the stock markets crash. 1929, the 24th of October, just three days after the sign of Libra finishes, the sun is judged, and then the scorpion bites the sun. He is Judas Iscariot. The sun always is there to betray the sun to its death and hand him over to Satan. Saturn. And the sun gets betrayed by this fellow here. Sagittarius, the killer of the sun. This is the guy that betrays him, Scorpio. Uh, check out um, Strong's Concordance 4091, and it will say, Pilot armed with a spear. Libra betrays the sun. And I was actually speaking about um, the stock market crash. The 87 stock market crash, the 19th of October. The 2008 stock market crash, the 19th of October, exactly 20 years to the day. They always crash the market here. They always go to war here. When did this recent war just start? Wasn't it the 20th of March? When did the Gulf War begin in 2003? Wasn't it the 20th, 20th of March? You start a war in Aries. Wars is, it's martial. You'll win your war if you start it there. If you crash here, as all those three major um, economic crashes of history will tell you, they all happened within the space of the 19th to the 25th of October. This is, these are the betrayers of the sun. Capricorn. Capricorn is the goat. The goat climbs up again. The, the crab goes down. The goat likes to climb. Aquarius. Water season. Pisces, the fish season. And I'll show you some, some quotes, some uh, references. Uh, John G. Jackson, writing in uh, 1940. The constellations of the lamb, the bull, and the twins were star groups through which the sun passed in the spring, and which, in which time of the year occurred the seasons of sheep raising, ploughing, and goat breeding. The spring. And the twins were the star groups through which the sun passed in the spring. In which time of the year occurred the seasons of sheep raising, ploughing and goat breeding? The twins were originally the two kids, since the young of goats are frequently born two at a time. The crab was so called because the sun reached its most northern point in that constellation and, when, and then returned toward the south, figuratively moving backward like a crab. The lion is the star group through which the sun moved in July, when its heat was most powerful, being compared with the most ferocious of the beasts. The virgin is an emblem of the harvest season, when the young girls were sent out to glean in the fields. The balance is the constellation in which the sun moved when day and night were equal in length. The justice, balance. It's funny, isn't it, that those signs should be there right on cue. Stars called the archer reigned over the hunting season. Of course here you've got to hunt because you can't grow. This is growing, this is hunting. When the hunter shot game with the bow and arrow, in the goat the sun reached the lowest point in its course after which it began to climb toward the north again just as the wild goat climbs toward the summit of the hill. The water carrier marked the position of the solar orb during the rainy season. The stars of the fishes constituted that group through which the sun passed when the fishing season was at its height. Now you've got the agricultural year. Now, fairy tales. I'll just do fairy tales first, just quickly, and show you that all our fairy tales, all our nursery rhymes come from this. Jack and Jill, the sun and the moon, climbed up the hill to fetch a pail of water, Aquarius. Aquarius is above when Jack and Jill are here.